batch bombs are taking this 50 pound bag and breaking it down into smaller, more manageable 10 pound bags like you see here. I'm going to be weighing out the batch in this stainless steel tub here and putting it into grocery bags and taping it up with a little packaging tape and you got to have batch of course. So I've got my respirator on, my gloves, and I'm going to start digging into the bag of batch to weigh out about 10 pounds. The advantage of making these smaller batch bombs is when it comes to charging, I don't have to weigh it out. I just throw it in the furnace and I go about my day. So there it is, about 10 pounds. And now I'm going to put it into this grocery bag and tape it up. Another advantage of having the batch bombs is that you don't have to pour the batch each time you put it into your furnace, which makes a bunch of dust and pollutes the air quality in your shop. You can also just throw the paper and the whole bag of batch right into the furnace, which helps keep the dust down as well. They stack up real nice too in the shop. All your glass blowing buddies will be impressed. And when it comes time to throwing them into the furnace, you just stick it on your little batch chute like you would the regular powdered batch and throw it in, bag and all. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Subscribe below, chase your dreams, keep making art. Thanks so much.